All right, before we get things started here, you might have already noticed that my channel has officially been renamed Matt's Fan Store. I've now been known as the Fan Dude 21 for the longest time, but yeah, as a bit of a disclaimer, it's not an actual fan store. None of my fans in my videos are for sale, unless I specifically say so. It is just a gag, basically it's a joke between a buddy of mine and myself. A couple Christmases ago, my cousin was here and came down to the basement here and saw my fan shop. And basically, the first time he ever saw it, and the first words that came out of his mouth was, What is this, your fan store? And that buddy of mine was visiting me as well at the time. And for whatever reason, the way he said it, you know, was the funniest thing to him. So he started saying, hey, it's Matt's fan store. He's just been joking around and commenting on all my videos. Saying, hey, it's Matt's fan store. Doing something different, not him. But long story short, we had came to an agreement if, because he's been wanting me to change my YouTube name to Matt's fan store. So I came to an agreement with him. If he changes his YouTube channel to something catchy, then I'll finally change mine to Matt's Fan Store. So that's what we came down to. So yeah, jumping into this thing right here. This is the most Malay ceiling fan money could buy. The old family handyman Panama Fan Company CM Electronics gear drive ceiling fan. Dating around 1982, 1983, or probably 1984 at the latest. Single speed fan, non-reversible. <coughs> Excuse me. Polished brass finish with a nice mustard yellow textured motor housing and lower canopy. All these parts are made of plastic with the exception of the down rod. And of course the hardware motor, obviously. But I think virtually everything else in this fan is pure plasticky goodness. It's got a nice little pull cord. Plastic fob. No, no chain here. So yeah, very interesting fans these are. Top shut. Showing you the information there. Uh, this is a voltage rating, hertz, amp draw. It's a J-hook mount, ball, bell canopy. And as you can clearly see, I do not have the blades for it. This fan I bought from Habitat years ago. I paid four bucks for it. Of course, I had to have it because of just how funny these things are and but unfortunately the blades are nowhere to be found so if you have a set lying around not using let me know and i will certainly buy them off you to complete this one but the original blades were would have made the fan 52 inch span which would look pretty odd because this motor housing is definitely quite small and definitely would be more fit proportionally for a 42 inch fan but yeah, they were mahogany finished, plywood, cheap plywood, very thin, very lightweight blade because these blade brackets are plastic. So I really don't trust any blade to really sit on these irons without snapping them. So that's why for now, until I get the factory blades, that's if I get them because of how scarce these fans are these days. You know, probably never happened, but if it does, I'd show it. But yeah. Like I said, these things were very shitty fans made. Very loud, very noisy being a gear drive. The flywheel that the blades attach to is one cog and it's powered with a tiny C-frame motor on one side and there's a counterweight on the other. So yeah, very cheap fans. Like I said, they only last a couple years. Um, Panama Fan Company only lasted for a year then they apparently filed for bankruptcy just because of these the shitty design and all the people returning their fans and wanting their money back and made them go bankrupt and the fans were reintroduced as cm electronics and it was even though it was a different brand it was still the same shitty fans so it didn't go very well for them either i know cm electronics also offered some other cheap battery operated portable fans i believe as well which um, yes, were garbage. So this fan definitely fits their theme quite well. 
So yeah, so let's go ahead and start it up and see what it does, bladeless. It's quite loud, so if you have it, it's on a high, if you're watching this on high volume, turn your volume down. Pretty noisy, even bladeless. Of course, don't move any air, which apparently these things weren't that powerful when even with the blades on them anyway. So probably didn't really make much of a difference. But yeah, these fans were sold new for $29.95. And their main marketing gimmick was that they were a stunning reproduction of the famous American antique ceiling fan, which they refer to as the Hunter original. Or the three, they called it the $360 American classic ceiling fan or something like that on their advertisement that's floating around on the internet. So yeah, quite a, I mean, it's a cool looking fan, but it's just, just hot garbage. Like I said, and this thing would have a direct drive motor in it. It would definitely be oodles, oodles better, even with a skinny Heritage 153 by 8, 6 motor. It'd still be better than what it is here. So, yeah, so that's all I got for this fan. Um, coming up here, I got two new in the box fans I'm going to be showing, along with another fan that I'm currently receiving in the mail that's on its way, which I will show as well, ceiling fan wise. There's still a couple portables that I still need to film as well. But after that, I'm pretty much caught up on all ceiling fan videos. So, for a bit of a appreciation because I'm nearing 2,000 subscribers. So, thanks to all, for, all of you for subscribing to my channel, of course. So, as a bit of an appreciation thing, I'm going to offer remakes on any video of your desire. So, you comment on one of my videos saying, hey, can you remake this video or... You know, comment on this channel. Hey, can you remake the video of this fan? If I still have it, and if it's over a year old, the video, I will certainly remake it for you. So let me know what you want to see redone, and I will put it on a list, and I will do it by orders as I receive them. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video on this very shitty Panama CM Electronics gear drive ceiling fan from the early to mid-1980s. But well, thanks for watching Matt's Fan Store. Stay cool. Take care. Peace.